What's the deal? Your boy will be here. No intro. Straight to the bullshit, you feel me? So, your boy Wayne won his lawsuit against Birdman, feel what I'm saying? He didn't get the whole 50 mil, but he did get 10 million about the whole deal. And he's off of cash money. So, with that being said, mind you, Drake and Nicki Minaj never really had no lawsuit because their contract was a whole different thing. Especially Drake. Drake is through some Jake Prince, then some Universal, then some Young Money shit. So, Drake never really had no issues. And Nicki Minaj also never had no issues because she's also through that Universal and Republic thing. It was just Wayne. Tiger to a certain extent, but I guess he paid Tiger off to get that makeup out the way a while ago. But... Like I said, Wayne got his 10 mil. He didn't get the 50 mil like we all thought he would and we all think he deserved. But he's off for that. He's working on the Carter 5. He's doing this shit. But like I said, that leaves the young money up for, not really up for grabs, but I'm assuming they're going to have to go to court about that or how they, however they're going to take care of that. Because let's be real, that's a whole nother, um, a whole nother ball game right there. They're about some big artists doing big numbers. So they're going to have to figure this out some way, somehow, you feel what I'm saying? I don't think there's no other way that's going to be around that. So, um, I mean, congratulations to Wayne Carter, Carter 5 dropping, and Birdman, I don't know what's going on with them situations. I just wish them the best and all that, but it's about to be all out in the game. But that leads, that leads me to a question. question is this with all these cats dying to get signed dying to get in the industry is it worth it do you personally think it's worth to get in the industry with all the stuff we seeing that's going on in the industry with all the I said like how many cats do you know and didn't have a tattoo didn't have a record before they got, got signed and then they get signed and now they got all these tattoos, they got this jailhouse record, this mugshot, this, that, and the third, and um, a lot of them, one hit wonders, two, three hit wonders, feel what I'm saying? When they first album boom, and it don't go nowhere, Wayne's been around for a long time, and I, like I said, I think he's worth more than that 10 million that he, that the judge gave him, but that's a whole nother judge, like I was saying. Is it really worth going through a label trying to get signed? Going through all this bullshit? Niggas playing with your money, playing with your livelihood, playing, playing with your manhood, and then you got these young cats trying to come up and you already know how sensitive they are with this whole internet beef, this internet troll, this internet thug. It's a whole different game these days, bro. Whole different game these days, but you know I'm saying? we gonna see what all comes of this. We really gonna see what comes of this. We gonna see if Drake go respond to Pusha T. Cause that's a whole nother thing I'm still waiting on. Like, Drake is the type of cat that's charged up, ready for some issue. You know saying he goes at people who, not everybody, but the worthy opponents who we feel worthy. And he's been going at Pusha, Pusha said what he said with that um, story of Adion and pff, silence, bro. Silence. I ain't expect silence this long. This nigga was silent like Nicki Minaj did with that Cardi B situation. Feel what I'm saying? But we shall see what's going on with this. We don't know what's going on. So, like I said, all in all, bro, Wayne is off his shit. Um, he's solo. We shall see what comes from this. So, the best of luck to him. Best of luck to everybody who's been in situations, man. LB, but what's the deal? And I'm gone. 200.